Hi. My way. My way or the highway. I don't like who I am sometimes. I kind of think that I'm gonna become a vlogger again. Once quarantine's over, maybe I'll become a vlogger. Like I'll start vlogging more. Could happen. What's up everybody? Okay, these are secret coffee bag. Oh God, I look like shit. These are secret Chamberlain coffee flavors that could potentially be coming out. Anyway, I'm making a coffee and then we can get started. Even though these products aren't out yet, chamberlaincoffee.com, it is what I'm using, but you don't know that because the products haven't come out. So I could be lying for all you know. So this morning I was super bored. I decided to just drive around, like literally just get in the car and just start driving. I ended up getting this crazy idea. This is another TikTok thing. <laughs> Whoa, big shocker. So basically on TikTok, I've been seeing a bunch of people talk about all the different fun foods that they sell at Trader Joe's. If you don't know what Trader Joe's is, then you might not need to watch this video. Maybe you go watch another one of my videos because this is just gonna be stupid and boring. Then again, maybe there's a chance that one day you will go to a Trader Joe's. So maybe you watch this anyway. I don't know. Everything at Trader Joe's, the grocery store, is like their own brand or at least 90% of it. And they like come up with the craziest stuff. I'll give you a sneak peek. This is a bag of potato chips that has sea salt, vinegar, dill, ketchup, barbecue chips all in it. Why? So they have like some stuff that's like genius and then some stuff that like doesn't make sense. But a lot of people are talking about it right now. And a lot of people are taste testing it on TikTok and I don't know about YouTube, but I know for sure on TikTok. And I felt like left out. So today I was like, I'm gonna go to fucking Trader Joe's and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try every single weird or genius Thing that Trader Joe's has. Trader Joe's taste test. This is what my channel has come to because I don't have any other ideas. Comment down below if I should start an internet beef with someone to give me something interesting to do. Oh my God, the coffee's so fucking good. ChamberlainCoffee.com, be ready. As the fucking, as the kids say, big things are coming. It's literally 10 a.m. Like I, this is like my fucking breakfast. So there's snacks. So things like crackers, chips, nuts, all that stuff. And then there's foods that need to be warmed up. But we're gonna start out with the snacks cause it's easier. And I'm really not in the mood to cook right now. And I never am. So first thing we're gonna try, this is the patio potato chips. It's a mixed bag of sea salt, vinegar, dill, ketchup, and barbecue flavored chips all in one bag. Makes no sense to me. So this is not something that's genius to me. This is just weird. It's almost like they got lazy, like they had like extra chips in their like warehouse and they're like, let's just put it all into one mixture. Smells fucking weird. Absolutely not. I'm gonna eat another one though. No, I'm not. I don't like it. This is a three out of 10. The problem is, is that I know I know that there's all those individual flavors. So when I eat the chip, it's like they're all p coming out at me at different angles in my mouth and on my taste buds. And it's not pleasant. It's like if you're watching a movie and you can tell that the actor is acting. So it just ruins the experience. That's like this. It's like, I know that there's all these individual flavors mixed together. Therefore the flavor as one to me makes me want to throw up. Moving on. Next thing we're trying is a drink. This is jalapeno limeade. This could low key actually be really fun. I'm just going to drink it straight out of the bottle because I live alone. It's actually really fucking spicy. I don't know if I'd ever drink this again, but I mean, it's good. This is like a six out of 10. It just tastes like limeade that's spicy. Bomba peanut snacks. I have no idea what this is. Like, what is that? But I love peanut butter, so. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It smells like peanut butter. Oh my God, I've never been more confused in my life. You know how like an eggplant, okay, if you've ever touched an eggplant, you know what I'm talking about. The like density of it, mixed with the weight of it doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? I, I, the weight of it is weird. There's something off about it. Like it's gra sense of gravity is off. It's not sweet at all, which I was expecting it to be sweet, but it's also very under seasoned. It feels like you're eating like a hamster. And then at the end, there's like a peanut aftertaste. Maybe not a hamster. That would actually be like really crunchy. I recommend that you buy these from Trader Joe's just so that you can like experience the confusion that it is. They're actually not bad. I'm gonna give these a six and a half out of 10 because I could see them being addicting because they're not overly salted or like overly seasoned. They're kind of chill as fuck. Organic dehydrated carrots. Don't really get the point of this, but excited to experience. Ew, it smells bad. <laughs> no, I can picture a really hardcore vegan eating these and being like, oh yes, yes. These are so good, but not me. It tastes like a carrot. Like it has that like gross kind of earthy 
carrot flavor that I'm not fond of. And the aftertaste in my mouth tastes like a, somebody did donuts in their car on my tongue. I'm giving this a three out of 10. I don't like them. You could probably feed them to your toddler because I feel like toddlers probably don't even have taste buds yet. If you wanna have like a healthy vegan three-year-old baby, feed them those. And if you are one of those people that likes to eat healthy snacks as a personality trait, even when they taste bad, again, try those. So. Um, no, not good. Ghost pepper potato chips. I mean, I'm just curious to see if this like hurts me. I actually ate a ghost pepper once. It was not pleasant, but I actually like spicy food. So let's give it a try. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, whew, fuck, oh my God. They taste really good, actually. Like the initial flavor, it's really good, but I mean, I definitely have a decent tongue burn going on. I'm actually gonna give these like a seven and a half out of 10 because considering how spicy they are, like I would, I still wanna eat another chip. I'm not going to because it's kind of hurting my mouth and I don't want my taste buds to be burned. These are chill as fuck. The ghost pepper potato chip, no. Although I feel like if I ate one of these right now, it would just make all of the burning sensation go away because this is, that's how weird this flavor is and mild. Oh my God, it actually did help. Buy these two things together, eat a fuck ton of these, burn the fuck out of your mouth. Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss as much. Buy these, burn your mouth super bad, and then eat these to make the pain go away. Cornbread crisps, so it's like cornbread crackers. I just thought that this was so random, like I don't, I'm... okay, it smells like nothing. Oh my God, how did they do that? <laughs> it tastes exactly like cornbread in a crisp, Eight and a half out of 10. Imagine you make homemade chili and you put a few of these on top. Holy shit, that would be so good. So I fuck with these. Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss. I really like these. Bagel season everything but the bagel, almond and cashews. So like nuts that taste like everything bagel seasoning. Uh, that sounds good to me. If I could eat like one thing for the rest of my life, it would be a New York bagel, everything bagel with cream cheese in it. But a New York bagel, because bagels here are not as good and then you eat it and then afterwards you're like, I really just ate an entire bagel, have stomach pain, and the bagel wasn't even that good. Anyway, moving on. I don't think I'm into this one. It's not awful, it's not terrible, but there's the flavors clash, okay, because nuts are kind of sweet. A little bit. And like the everything bagel seasoning is like salty, but also has like some onion and garlic and sesame seeds and like it has all these different flavors going on. Mixed with like the sweetness of the nuts, it just clashes. Five out of 10. It's not repulsive. On a deserted island, would eat these. Spud crunchy potato snack. I don't really know why I got these. I just felt like there was something weird about it. They're like freeze dried french fries or something. Is that what it is? Oh my God, it looks exactly like a french fry. No, this is super similar to an In-N-Out burger french fry because if you've ever been to In-N-Out, their french fries are like, they're so dry. It tastes like a french fry that just got left in the sun for 24 hours. Three out of 10. I just don't, I think it's just stupid. Okay, this is upsetting and I don't even wanna try it. Dried okra. I don't even think I've ever eaten okra in general, so eating it dried is probably gonna be super unpleasant. It smells like grass or something. Ugh. Ugh, no, 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 no. I don't like the texture at all. Okra has a very thin skin around it and then it has all the seeds inside. The thin skin is kind of sharp. Like when they dried it, it got sharp. So there's like shards of it in your mouth when you're chewing it, not pleasant. I like pretty much nothing about it. I'm gonna give that a two out of 10. Not into that. Last snack. Time flies when you're having fun, huh guys? Love hanging out with you. I have a headache. Pickle flavored popcorn. I personally really like pickles. God, it really smells like a pickle. Oh my God, ew. They really nailed the pickle flavor, but I don't really think I'd ever eat this again. I mean, it's kind of addicting, actually. 6.8 out of 10. No, that's not right, that's not right. Yeah, mm, 7.7.0, 7.0 on that one. I would rather have like a different flavor. Like it's just like, I wouldn't choose it again, but they did nail the pickle flavor. The execution was great. Like it tastes exactly like a fucking pickle. I, tastes exactly like a, Pickle. A lot of these snacks are just kind of unnecessary. Definitely fun to try, you know? I mean, it never hurts, right? I think that I'm now due to have a party at my house, um, invite all my buddies over, all my hundreds of buddies. I'm gonna invite everybody over and be like, hey guys, <clears throat> fun snack taste test. Trader Joe's has so many good, like, normal snacks that, like, I don't know why they feel the need to, like, do these things, but 
I mean, regardless, I had a good time trying them, but we're not done. We're not even remotely done. We're now gonna have to cook. Oh, I don't wanna cook. Fuck, I really don't wanna cook. One of the things that I saw on TikTok that everybody was talking about was this vegan mac and cheese that comes in this container. It's really easy to make, so I think that that's why everybody is obsessed with it, because it's just like super easy. All you do is you literally just take off the top. Take off the top. Pierce some holes in it. That's it. Uh, while my mac and cheese is warming up, I'm going to try their viral, again, salad dressings. They put these salad dressings in these things. Um, I got two flavors. I got almond butter turmeric salad dressing, which sounds absolutely awful, and then um, vegan Caesar dressing. So we're gonna try these dressings while my microwave macaroni is warming up. The way that I'm about to try these dressings is probably gonna make some of you vomit at home. This is how I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take a piece of lettuce, and I'm gonna dip it in it, and then I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> this is the vegan Caesar. Let's check it out. Wow, this is fucking amazing. This is a nine out of 10. I don't know why it comes in a bottle like this. I mean, it, it looks like a fucking cold pressed juice, but it tastes really good. So now we're trying the almond butter turmeric. I don't know about this. This sounds a little bit too health foody for me, but trying it. You know what? This is actually good too. Both nine out of 10. This one's not as good, but I still like it. Now it's time to try the mac and cheese that everybody on TikTok talks about. Vegan mac and cheese that everybody on TikTok likes test. I don't like it, actually. I don't think it's good. TikTok lied to me? <gasps> I'm giving this like a five out of 10 because it had a lot of hype around it and I don't think it's that good. The sauce kind of has a weird consistency. It's like too thin. I don't like it. And like the flavor, it's not really that cheesy. It's like kind of cheesy, but it's like under seasoned. God, everybody really hyped that shit up. I was so excited. Um, not for me. Next, we're trying this hummus. This doesn't require cooking, so I don't know why I thought it did. Dill pickle hummus. Getting out my pita chip. I don't even eat pita chips. I don't know why or how I have these, but dill pickle hummus down the hatch. No, I mean, okay, here's the thing. I don't like pickles enough, and I like hummus too much for this to happen. I'm giving this a five out of 10. Like, I just can't find a reason for it to make sense. But if I, I was at a party and somebody had it there, or like a birthday party, you know, and like everybody was like, ah, oh, gather and eat the dill pickle hummus, I'd eat it. But moving on, chocolate hummus. This makes me want to vomit. I'm putting it on a chip, which is probably like not what I'm supposed to do, but. Wow, this is good. Okay, it doesn't taste like hummus at all. It has no chickpea flavor. This is actually really good. And it's it's good because it has like fiber in it. Well, not really actually. I would recommend this. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 because it's really impressive. It tastes like Nutella or something. Wow, Trader Joe's. I need a break, I'm getting really full. I also wanna try this mac and cheese again just to make sure I hate it. It's not, it's not pleasant. The mac and cheese, this is not good. Next thing I just got, cause it just, it, I wanted, I was curious about what it meant. Mini cheesecake cones. Oh shit, that looks really good. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like tearing up. I'm literally like, I, this is fucking delicious. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Where you live. I don't care if you live literally. I don't know where they where they don't have Trader Joe's, but I don't care. Find a Trader Joe's. I don't care if you have to get on a damn plane. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. There's like the outside coating. They describe it as almond Florentine cones, but it like has this like butterscotch undertone. Oh, the fucking filling is incredible. This should be illegal. These are the best things I've ever eaten in my life. Trader Joe's. I know I've been giving y'all shit about your weird random products and this is definitely kind of random, but like, so good. Oh my God, 11 out of 10, that shit is crazy. That was awesome. I feel like a different person now. Okay, we have a few things left. These things all require cooking, so I'm in for a, I'm in for a treat. Should I just cook everything and then come back? That's what I'm gonna do. I won't put y'all through this shit. BRB. I made a decision. Ow. <laughs> While I'm cooking the remainder of the things that I need to cook, I thought I would hang out with you guys. So let me fill you in on my life. I think I've just been so bored that I'm like kind of getting into like weird things. Very into conspiracy theories right now. Not gonna talk about them because I feel like I will get kidnapped and killed if I do talk about it. But I'm really into all of that. 
and like really into like all of those weird TikToks that are like, or things on the internet that are like, there's an awake an emotional awakening, and if you see these numbers, it means something. Well, let me tell you, I've been seeing the same numbers on the clock, or like, okay, even just since I started filming this video, it says how long I've been recording, and I know I'm gonna sound crazy right now, but I've been seeing the same numbers. I see 11, like, whether it's like 111, 211, 311, 411, 511, 1111, a lot of 11. And I keep fucking seeing them and I wanna just ignore it, but like I can't anymore. And even when I was filming this, I looked up multiple times at the clock on accident and one of the times it said 1111 and then one of the other times it said 1711 or something. I'm either gonna like die soon or like something good's gonna happen. I know for a fact that something will burn, like at some point. Like one of these things will burn. I'm cooking one, two, three, four. I'm cooking four things at once. Cooking up a damn storm in here. Shut the fuck up. Hey, all my two friends. Any of y'all wanna come over? I have spicy chips and pizza crust made out of broccoli. It's actually time to try another product, so. Okay, yay! Next thing we're trying, cauliflower thins. These are a delicious and versatile bread substitute. I actually ended up making a little mini pizza on it. Mm. Mm. It's not terrible. It has absolutely no flavor whatsoever, which is kind of nice. It works. Like I did randomly just eat the whole thing. It kind of grew on me. I kind of like it. Cauliflower thins, eight and a half out of 10. Not fucking bad. Next thing we're trying is very upsetting to me. Jicama wraps. Jicama is like some weird vegetable or something. Trader Joe's is stating that you can use it as a taco shell. I would love to believe that. This is like cold and wet. I just warmed up some black beans, which I am going to pour onto it. These are such good black beans, God. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of vegan cheese on it. Little taco. Oh. Jicama. I just don't see this being good. I don't, know. I don't know how the fuck this is possible. Just by looking at this, it's not very appealing, but it's kind of like really good. I'm gonna give those like a nine out of 10 low key. Like that was actually really pleasant. Somehow I just like, I bought this and I was like, I know I'm gonna hate this. I actually liked it. So jicama wraps, nine out of 10. We have two more foods left to eat. Cauliflower and kale pizza crust and then kale gnocchi and cauliflower gnocchi. I'm so full, I feel like I'm going to fucking explode. These last three products are the ones that I'm honestly the most excited for. So um, I'm gonna go take a nap while this is cooking. Actually, don't do that. That's not smart because then if the house caught on fire, I'm not gonna take a nap, but I'm gonna go lay on my couch. I don't feel so good. Okay, I cooked. I made the pizza and I made the gnocchi and we're gonna Give it a taste. I feel ill. Let's try the last few things. Okay, so first we're gonna try this broccoli and kale pizza crust. I am not excited about this. I do feel like it's gonna be gross. I do like cauliflower crust though, but I just feel like broccoli is such like a strong flavor that I feel like this, there's no way that this is gonna be good. You know what? Wow. I mean, the texture's a little off, but that's kind of expected because it's made out of broccoli and kale. Like, what do you expect? But it's actually good. Broccoli and kale pizza crust from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. There's no fiber in it. I was gonna say, I was like, this is good because there's more fiber in it. There's literally zero grams of fiber. I don't even feel like there's a lot of kale in it. I feel like this is kind of a scam. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 now because I thought that it was gonna be like, you know, oh, you get your fiber in, you know, but there's literally no fiber in it. And now we have our last, our last one. This is the one that I see everybody talking about on TikTok. The cauliflower gnocchi and the kale gnocchi. I don't really see as many people talking about the kale one, but I combined them all into one bowl because it was the same cooking time and I'm lazy. So first I'm gonna try the cauliflower one. Okay, there's something chewy about it. I know that you can cook these on a frying pan and I see people usually doing that. So maybe I should have done that because I boiled these. The flavor of it is good. Um, so I'm gonna give it, you know, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because everybody hypes it up so much. Like I expected it to be the best thing I'd ever eaten in my life. And it just wasn't really that. Not awful. Uh, I think if I would have cooked it differently, it could have been better. So maybe I'll try that again later in the week, but definitely not now because I need to lay down. Last thing we're trying is the kale one. I know I'm gonna hate this. And I hate it. Like it, it's leaving like weird little, it left like little pieces of kale in my mouth that I'm still trying to swallow. Um, Giving that a five out of 10. I don't like it. The texture's not good. I feel like maybe again, if I sauteed it on a pan, it might be better, but I just, 
didn't, I just, it just didn't click for me. Moral of the story is, there is no moral of the story. I don't know what you guys got out of this. I don't even know what I got out of it, to be honest. I'm probably gonna go lay in bed and wonder like why the fuck I did this for the next few hours. But then I'm gonna remember, this is what, I, this is something I wanted to do. And that's, um, that's a moral. Do things because you wanna do it. Um, hope you're having an amazing week. I love you all and I'm gonna go lay down. Love you all, all right. I'm out of here, whoa! Please try the cheesecake cone thing. That shit was fire. Eh.